Hey guys, welcome back here to my little world on YouTube. Today I have for you guys a Forever 21 Active Wear haul. I have a ton of stuff to show you guys and everything that I got is $20 and under. So if you're interested in learning more about affordable active wear from Forever 21, then just keep on watching. Here on my channel, I share with you tips and tricks on how to jumpstart your fitness journey. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Also, there have been quite a few requests for me to do more workout videos. I don't have too many here on my YouTube channel, but if you want to go over to my Instagram page and follow me there, I post at least two or three new workout videos a week. So if you want more workouts, follow me on Instagram. Alright, just so you know, everything I'm trying out today comes as separate. None of it comes together as a set. This first pair of leggings I got is made up of this quilted material. I'm not sure how much of it you can actually see, just know that the quilting is there. Where you see these seams, the fabric is a little more sheer than the rest of the legging. I'm about to do a squat test in a bit. All that means is I'm going to do a squat and if I can see any skin or underwear, the leggings are not squat proof. But if I can do a squat without seeing any butt or underwear, then they are squat proof. To my surprise, these were pretty squat proof, I'd say about 75%. Just for reference, I am wearing a black seamless underwear. I got these for $22.90 and in a size small, and thought they were just a little bit too big. I'll put the material it's made of up on there as well, but to be honest, I've never understood why people do that because it's not like we're going to know what 30% polyester, 20% spandex, 20% silk, 50% cotton, and 15% elastin looks like. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, these have no pockets and the waistband is not seamless, meaning that there is a little piece of elastic that runs through the very top of the waistband. They are a little long for me, but I don't mind too much. There is a little bit of a camel toe. Out of 5 stars, I'd give these a 3.5. These next pair of leggings have two pockets on each side of the leg. One is made out of the same material as the leggings, the other is made out of mesh. There is also a pocket at the top of the waistband. These ones were one of my favorite from this haul, but holy smokes, you can see my booty. Definitely not squat proof at all. I do apologize, I completely forgot to get a front view of these leggings, so we will just have to stare at my backside for now. I got these in a size extra small and thought they fit perfectly, although they were just a little bit too long. They have two pockets on either side of the leg as well as in the waistband. These ones are not seamless. They cost $19.90 and I'd give them a 4 out of 5 stars. This top I really wanted to love because it's super freaking cute, but it was a little loose for me at the very top. But if you got big boobs, you'd probably be just fine. It does have a small built-in bra, but it's not very supportive. I'd give it a 3 out of 5 stars. This pink pair of capris has a pocket in the waistband. As you can see, there is that crisscross pattern on the bottom of the pants as well. I got these in a size small and thought they were just a little bit too loose. These were only about 50% squat proof. Again, I am so sorry because I didn't get a picture of the front of these ones either. I know, I am disappointed in myself too. Anyways, these ones were $14.90, high waisted with a pocket in the waistband. Length was good, I'd give these a 4 out of 5 stars. Up next, I have this pair of pink tie-dye slash camel print shorts. They're ruched on the side and the strings can be tied and untied. The inseam on these shorts is 1.5 inches. The shorts were about 75% squat proof. I got them in a size small and they fit perfectly, although they did have a way of crawling up inside your butt a little bit. For me anyways. A little bit of a camel toe, no pockets. As you can see, they're mid-rise. Out of five stars, I'd give them a three and a half. The sports bra I'm wearing with these shorts has a high neck. I got a size extra small and thought it was true to size. There are removable pads in the bra and you can zip it up or down. I'd give this bra a five out of five. This next set was my favorite set. The only pocket these have is one at the top of the waistband. The back of the legs from the thigh down is mesh and these are a 7 8 legging. These ones were so close to being 100% squat proof, but I mean, wear some nude underwear and you'll be just fine. I got these in a size small and they fit perfectly. 
high rise waist with a pocket in the band, 7 8 length with mesh on the back. I'd give these a 4.5 out of 5 stars. This sports bra I got in a size small and it fit well. Removable padding with adjustable straps as well. And the back side is mesh. Out of 5 stars, I'd give this a 5. Do you know that I am not picky with my sports bras? I got small boobs, so I just wear whatever I want to on top. This set I was really excited to try because the color is super super pretty, but unfortunately the material felt really cheap. And they were completely see-through. I got these in a size small. They just fit a little weird overall. High-waisted, no pockets. Really, the only good thing about these was that the waistband was seamless. Out of 5 stars, I'd give these a 1. The top was better, probably because I don't care too much about tops. I got a size extra small. It fit well. Removable padding, elastic straps. Out of 5 stars, I'd give it a 4. So I really thought that these two pieces were going to match, but I got them in the mail and they obviously don't. So yeah. I thought the crisscross parts on the leggings was super cute. I got a size small and they were a bit too big for my taste. Only about 50% squat proof. These ones were mid to high rise, major camel toe issue, no pockets, and the waistband was not seamless. I would give these a 2 out of 5 stars. The padding in this bra was a little funky, but it's removable so you can just take it out. I thought that the cut was really flattering and the detail in the back is nice as well. I'd give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. These next ones were a fold over yoga pant. As you can already see, they are a little see-through. The waistband can be flipped up or folded down. And wow, that is my entire butt. Negative 1000% squat proof. I got these in a size small. They fit alright, just extremely sheer material. No pockets, length is a little long. Out of 5 stars, I'd give these a 2. I really liked this top. I thought it was super cute. I loved the black lining and the white band at the bottom. I got a size small and thought it fit well. Removable padding, I'd give this a 5 out of 5 stars. These last pair of leggings I thought would be a fun athleisure pair. The waistband can be folded over and adjusted. I got a size small and thought they fit relatively well. If they had been just 2 inches shorter though, the length would have been perfect. These were about 75% squat proof. Mid to high rise with that fold over waistband, no pockets, tiny bit of a camel toe, I'd give these a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really liked the high neck and crisscross waistband on this top, although I do feel as though the crisscross bands pinched and accentuated my fat just a little bit. Removable padding and adjustable straps, I'd give this top a 5 out of 5 stars. And that is all I have for you guys today. If you got through this entire video, thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. If you have requests for other brands you'd like me to do reviews or hauls for, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.